There's nothing transforming in death. What we call death is not death of the individual. It's only death of the body. And you, you have body, but you're not body. See, that, people, says, uh, people say my this and my that too often about things they really don't want to experience. But if you claim it, then you get it. That, that's the whole thing. Everything you have is what you're claiming in your mind. If you want something different, start claiming something different in your mind. It always happens in thought first. What are you thinking about? That's all you have to ask yourself. Is it something lovely and of good report, something I want more of? Fine. Expand, expand on it. But if it isn't, drop it and get to something that is good, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Absolutely. And I'm going to allow you to expound on it because I know what you mean. But for that person that may be hearing this broadcast for the first time, you have body, but you're not body. Right. That's your uniform. <laughs> so we're a spiritual being having a human experience. That's it. And the, you see, the thing here that you really want to catch is that God gave you, first person, he gave you that you can choose your day. And you actually are about doing so because every word you speak is designing your future. So if it's not lovely and of good report in your thinking feelingly, then it isn't going to be lovely in your experiencing it because you're always thinking ahead of your evidence. And what you're thinking about is what you're feeding. You're giving it your attention. That's the feeding of the things that you're thinking about. And be they lovely and of a good report, expand on them. But if it's not, drop it. Cut off their supply, your thought, your feeling, because that's what subconscious mind is making your world of, your model of as you think, feelingly. So be aware. You're told to be warned not not to imagine mischievous imagining. Well, why? Well, because it it's a creative choice, and you're given. You can choose the negative. You can choose the positive, and that's always your choice. But will you remember to choose? You see, that's just it. We get caught up in what's going on around us to the degree that we we forget what we had agreed with. I mean, you heard all of this, and obviously you're agreeing with it because you're hearing it again and again. But are you remembering it when it's important to remember it? And you can. You're told you can remember. Attitude awareness. What is your attitude about your world in general? Because that's what you take with you when you depart this world. Because you don't really go anywhere. It's just a different state of consciousness. But uh, attitude, awareness, and imaginational control, with these two, you can be in charge of your world in a positive mode, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. Absolutely. And I want to go back briefly to uh, the body. Body is nothing more than a vehicle of travel. It's like you getting in your car and going from point A to point B or getting in some type of transit system. The body is a transit system for the spirit. We, as preconditioned man, have been told that we are a body with a spirit inside. No, what we are is spirit that occupies a body. Would you agree? That's it. That's it. Let's put the spirit first. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> That's all we're trying to get anybody to do, is to put the spirit first. They're putting the world and all the concerns of it first in their thinking and feeling. And that's just the exact opposite of what you're told to do. You're told to think on things that are lovely and have good report, but if you're thinking it's sitting there thinking and worrying about this and worrying about that, it, it only expands it. I mean, it, it, your world is being expanded in the direction that your thinking is taking you. And, and actually, we're told to bring heaven on earth. So that must mean this is hell. And many people will agree with that, that this is hell. Most of the world will agree with that, that this is hell. 
they're experiencing hell right here, right now. I mean, what more, what more could you do to yourself than to consider yourself separate from God? I mean, that means you're out in the cold all by yourself. There's so much more being offered than we're taking advantage of. You have, you have so, so much more to have, to do, to be already with you. Only, only your recognition gives it life. You see, it's all on automatic. You get what you get automatically. If you're thinking lovely and of good report, you get what you get lovely and of good report. If you're thinking nonsense and being stupid, well, you'll get the plenty of that too, because it's on automatic. It, it, there's no God. God has no emotion about what you're doing. He doesn't care who you are, or what you're doing. He loves you, and that's all He knows, and that's all He gave Himself to know is that he loves you. And for that, he tells you, even though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Why? Because he's running the show from the power. You're running the show from your mental decisions that you're making. Or maybe not making, which is still a choice, isn't it? Absolutely. I like that you said that about us making the choice from our thinking because most of us from a preconditioned man, we think uh, from the world's perspective outside in. So we look for the outside to change the within. From spirit perspective, we look from the inside out. And many of us are tying the hands of God. Now we say, well, how can I tie the hands of God? Scripture says, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth will be loose in heaven. We're the binders in our mind. Would you agree? Fantastic, fantastic. You said it right. That's it. I mean, that, that, what we're doing is we're telling the people how to bring their dreams into reality because this is a dream. And you're told that when the people fail to dream, they start to die. They start to die. So you're always given the choice of change your mind and change your world. <laughs> It seems to me you'd be interested in changing it. You have to be aware of it. You see, that's that's like that's like DeGarla would tell you. You have to be aware of it. If you're not aware of it, you know, like the guy who's got a million billion dollars in 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 the bank and he doesn't know who he is, so he can't claim it. See, we have it already. Have it. It is ours because it was God, and God said, "Son, all I have is yours." There it is. All I have is yours. He gave you everything. He even gave you himself. He's with you always. We'll never leave you. We'll not forsake you. So you made it even if you don't think so. <laughs> what you say? Absolutely. And I like that you said, you said, son, all that I have is yours. We have the, access to literally limited, limitless Wealth within us. That's it. Using That's our it. thinking. And That's yet it. we live in poverty. Yeah. Well, you build the wrong mindsets. <laughs> Absolutely. And that's what I want to get to, the mindset. And once we shift or change that mindset or paradigm, the whole world changes for us. Would you agree? That's it. That's it. All you have to do, let it go. What's bothering you, let it go. It only has space because you made space for it. You evict it. <laughs> that, sounds, that sounds strange, but you know that's what you're really doing. I, I, I like it. I like that. I like the word evicted. Um, it's like cleaning that house that Jesus, you talk about cleaning the temple, but Jesus yeah. also talked about cleaning the house of those spirits. Evict them. Get them out of there. Change those thoughts. Don't give them place because... The second they come back, they come back with friends and they multiply. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's exactly what happens, you know. See, that's why I'm so happy for you. <laughs> you explain all this stuff I say. <laughs> well, 
I'm glad that you're saying it so that it can be explained. Well, well, well thank you. But the, the point is, the point is, is that that I, I know I miss a lot of people because they're used to hearing the stuff from Scripture in chapter and verse, and I never got it that way. In fact, I never even got Scripture at all. I read it a few times uh, when I was younger, and but I, I it it just seemed like it was written by idiots. <laughs> I mean, I, I couldn't make any sense out of it at all. And, and the names, the, 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 uh, and I did not, and, and then the thing of it is, even if you learn to pronounce them, still, there's still meanings that go beyond the name that you, that you will become aware of. And it's an exciting adventure, believe me, to find out that all the people of Scripture are states of consciousness, and every one of them is a state of consciousness. They're not beings as you and I are. They're, they're, they're the ultimate states of consciousness, and that's what we're looking for is the ultimate states of consciousness. Ever, ever, ever higher. Itself, in self, and risen is the drama man. Are you rising? Are you, is things getting better for you? See, that's a tip-off right there that you're not thinking correctly because it's as you think you are, you do, you have, you be. So if you're not liking it, then you, you're thinking something wrong. You're feeling something wrong. And all you have to do is correct that, and the whole situation corrects itself. Isn't that the way it works? Absolutely, and I want to go back to you speaking about Scripture because I think it was very beneficial because I think a lot of people are where you used to be. And Jesus says, you know, the clergy in the past, they used the Scriptures as a means to veil the Word from the common people, to keep them in darkness, as it were. Hallelujah. When it's truly given, like what we're talking about today, it's simplified. Our goal is to give you the simple message of truth that... You are God's manifestation in the world. And just begin living it out. And as you think, you are. That's the simple message of Scripture. And so many people will complicate that message and say that you got to do all these do's and don'ts and not this and do that and all that. Jesus made it simple. He says, love God and love others as yourself. That's Scripture. Would you agree? That's it. Yeah, that, that's the whole book of it, isn't it? Absolutely. He really, it's the, well, you know, the whole book is is given to you in, in in a few words, over and over and over. It's 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 like shaking you. This is the way it it's it's given to you, but it means more and more and more. But you have to feel after it. You're not learning something. You're just remembering something. And it is on a automatic that you're remembering if you're looking for. Because you're told, when you seek, you shall find. And that shall, that means it's a done deal if you're there. And God said, I'll, you turn to me and I'll turn to you. So God's already there. Where, where are you? Where, where is it that you are with God? Where are you that you aren't with God? See, it's always up to how you think feelingly is your world of experiencing. I mean, you wanted the simple method to change. There it is. All you have to do is change what you're thinking about. And no matter how justified you are in your arguments of what you're thinking about, if it's not lovely and a good report, then it, it really isn't any of your business. What are you doing with your thinking and feeling? Where are you going with it? Where is your thinking and feeling taking you? Because remember, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he, so does he, so has he. So whatever you're doing there, that's what you're doing. <laughs> that's what you're being. That's what, and, and you get all the, the ramifications and trade-offs of, of, those, of those negatives that you were thinking. Because you're, when you're thinking about anything negative, you're feeding it. 
I, I, I guess that's telling how you keeping it alive in your world, isn't it? Absolutely. I like that you said something, and you dropped it in there, and I'm not even sure that you were aware when you dropped it. You said, if you're thinking anything less than lovely and of good report, that's not your business. Your business is thinking lovely and good report. You know, and that's the thing. You know, everybody says they want to have a happy life. They say they want to be prosperous. They say they want to be in this nice relationship. And yet, they're thinking everything else other than lovely and good report, and they're wondering why they don't have what it is they say that they want. And it goes back to them minding their business and thinking on lovely and good report. Would you agree? Yes, 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 absolutely. We're always on, and we're always on now. We're told that if this is the time of change, and you're waiting for what? To start, start what? You see, you're already on, and you're thinking, and you're feeling what you're thinking, but are you recognizing that what you're thinking and feeling is you're experiencing your future? Because, as I said, you're always thinking ahead of your evidence. And I keep repeating that because if you don't get that, if you're not really conscious of that, then the rest of it won't make any sense. You have to be aware of your own conversations. I mean, just just running off at the mouth over stuff that's none of your business... That, that, that's what creates all that, why me, why this, why now? It's you doing it. It's you feeling it. And that's what you're experiencing, exactly what you're feeling. And if it's not lovely and a good report, well, then you know what it is, because you're experiencing it, wouldn't you say? I would. And I want to go back a little bit further. You said um, one of the reasons that we're here is to remember who we are. And who are yep. we? But I am. We're gods. That's it. That's it. That's not what we're looking for. But that's, that is what we are actually looking for, whether we're aware of it or not. But being aware of it urges you along the path of feel after and you shall find. You have to keep the motion going. Now look, I know you're not on all the time on Memorial I'm more than aware of that. You know, but but if you make the best of the time that you're on, you, you'll be very happy for it, believe me. You can make choices about things that are so far beyond your believing at the moment, but yet you can do so because God told you you can do so. I'm not telling you anything new. I'm telling you what Neville taught me and a thousand other people taught me from little things that they've said that organized my mind into feeling as I'm feeling now. You can do the same thing. You get this from this person, this from that person, and this from that person, and you put it all together, and it comes out exactly the same for everybody. These things I do, you shall do also, Jesus tells you. He's telling you, you are Jesus. You don't do what Jesus is doing. You are Jesus doing it, but you just don't know it. You, that's what you gave up. You gave up knowing who you are to be who you are now, which is whatever name you're using. God is all things to all. There's only God. That, that's the one thing we, we established right off, didn't we? We did. There's, there's only God. And he's the all power. So anything that's happening, he's the power of it. If if it's war, then he's the power of it through the minds making the war. You see, how, how how could humanity exist without God giving himself up? I mean... God could, God could not see what's going on here as God. 
he can only see it as Wendell. That's not good. <laughs> no, change your mind, change your world. That's exactly the whole program. You change your mind, you will change your world. Whatever you change your mind to is what you will change your world. So just be thoughtful, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. And I'm going to go back to what you said about God seeing the world as Lindo. Don't stop at Lindo. What Lindo's saying to you is God sees the world through your eyes. He touches, tastes, feels through you. God is so vast that presently it takes 8 billion people for God to express himself through. And you're one of the expressions of God as he expresses himself as you. Would you agree? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's absolutely it. You, you know, like I said, you put pointers on it. <laughs> that's, that's it. As you think you are. Doesn't that tell you the whole story? That's the whole story. Yeah. So if you want different, just start thinking different. <laughs> all, all the ceremonies that are going on in the world wouldn't bring you one step closer to that. And you can do that right here, right now. I am that. Choose better than the best you've yet known. And that's all you're interested in doing. It's just choosing the better. Isn't that it? Absolutely. And please, don't discount the message because of its simplicity. It's in the simplicity that it holds the power. Would you agree? Absolutely. That's what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's exactly it. Come on. Look, all you have to do is to be on your own side. It's that simple. You're not on your own side if you're not enjoying life. Because if you were on your own side, you'd be enjoying life. Is it that simple? Is it? It is that simple. And I, I just want to touch on it because when you said it just now, you said you're not on your own side. Otherwise, you would be enjoying life. And it clicked at that moment when you said it that we are the creator's choosing. So if we're not enjoying life, it's because we've chosen not to enjoy life. And if we're enjoying life, it was as simple as us making a choice to enjoy life. And I'll tell you something else. God has no emotion about it one way or the other. So you can set yourself fire if you want to. It doesn't matter. He told you, choose this day. Whatever you choose, rather it's good, bad, or indifferent. You're choosing it. It's all on automatic. God's not making any decision about it one way or the other, and he's not making your decisions one way or the other because you didn't ask. And had you had asked, you'd been in a different frame of mind, and you would have understand what you're asking. Whereas now, you can go out and ask and ask and ask and whine and cry about everything, and it doesn't do anything. In fact, all you've done is just upset yourself that much more today. Why? Why? Why don't you think about what you're thinking about? You get that? <laughs> I do. And in everything you just said, and then we're frustrated, and we say, this stuff doesn't work, but it's working perfectly. Would you agree? <laughs> God don't make duds. <laughs> everything he's made turned out perfect. Everything. Everything is operating according to the law. It can't not, not be so. It says, thou shalt not kill. Well, you can't. You see, you can't. Oh, you might go through the, the motions of it, and you have the results according to what you're doing. But it's all, it's all a virtual reality. Nothing dies. Nothing. The flower that blooms once blooms again forever, forever. Everything is operating according to as you think you are. That your entire world is 
operating according to as you think you are. Feelingly. Feeling is the secret. How are you feeling? Because the way you feel is sending your model to subconscious mind to create your world of experiencing. It's all on automatic. If you think it, you get it. That's it. As you think you are. It's what you believe. What do you believe? You believe a thousand different things. But have you believed the right things? See, they're right with you. All you have to do is choose them. And that's what you're told to do. Choose this day. Choose the thoughts that you will think today. They may not have the effect today, but you're thinking ahead of your evidence. And when the evidence of what you're thinking today does reveal itself, it will be because the situation warranted it. And there it was. You are what you are because of what you think you are. Change what you're thinking and you'll change your world. Like I said, all you have to do is just try it. It doesn't cost you anything. You don't have to belong to anything. Yeah, I don't have to know you. You don't have to know me. I just told you. Test it. And that's what we all need to do. We need to test ourselves. Is this, if I say this is so, and I believe this is so, then why won't I test it? Because there's a doubt there. So rid yourself of the doubt, and you'll whiz right through. It's like, it's like hitting super drive. <laughs> We've said quite a bit uh, in talking about the preconditioned man, and we could actually go on, but I'm trying to be sensitive of time here. So what would you say to the listener in closing in speaking about the preconditioned man? Well, actually, actually, the, your conditioning started when you were born, right? First thing Absolutely. you got was a smack on the butt. That was your first lesson. We've been in that mood, more or less, all along. But some people overcome it early. Some don't. But it's, it's, it always depends upon what you accept as being true for you. It may not be true for somebody else, but it's true for you. But is it? See, that's the question. Is it? Is what I'm thinking, is it leading me where I want to go? If it isn't, why then am I actually spending my time thinking about it rather than investing my time in what I'm looking for? You see, because what you're looking for is looking for you. I'm telling you, it's all on automatic. As far as the word religion they, they've, they've, they've completely, completely destroyed the word. Religion is you being you every moment of time. That's what religion is. And as to what you're religiously doing, that's up to you. Choose this day. Choose whatever it is. You're told that it whatsoever is the potential of your choosing this day, whatsoever. I mean, I, I didn't make any of this up, and I didn't figure anything out. I'm telling you, I was shown this, all in vision, and I, I asked for it because I was suspicious that if this works, well, what about will this work? And then will the next one work? And it all works if you work it. And working it is being it. That's it. That's working it, is being it. And if you're not being it, then you're not working it. You're using the power, but to do what? That's the question. Keep asking yourself, what am I doing with the power? Isn't that the question? That is the question. Powerful question. We have to leave the listeners with thinking about what are they doing with the power? The four CDs that I have out there, it's all there. I mean, if you took any one of the CDs and actually followed through on what you understood there, you could change your mind, change your world. And, and all you have to do is 
just listen to the CDs. It's always reiteration and reiteration. The idea is, is that you have to get in and think from. Metaphysicalartheater.com. We can only mail in the U.S. right now, but for those who are outside the U.S., we can send you a digital bundle with everything so you'll get the enjoyment without waiting for it in the mail. Matter of fact, those who are in the U.S., if you would rather have the digital copies, we can do that as well. Metaphysicalartheater.com. We're really into the business of helping you transform your life. That's our desire. Sir, it's been a pleasure. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. It bubbles up in me. And if I don't let it out, it causes all sorts of destruction. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad we got an outlet so you can let it out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guy. Talk to you later. Talk to you later, sir.